They really did try to come for me, man. They tried to chain my ass up. They wanted me gone. Isn't that crazy? They shot and missed. That's like rule number one in cancellation. It really is. If you're going to cancel somebody, you cannot, you cannot attempt and fail. But really, did they fail? Did they really fail? See, Nick Merckx just had a baby. You understand, right? He's just protecting his baby. He's with, what he's saying is that, hey, look, man, I just want to be the person that introduces this conversation. You know, there's a lot of people that say a lot of things. Some people don't think for themselves, but rather just repeat what is socially acceptable. Young people are being programmed nowadays to be afraid of personal values, convictions, and opinions, you know? I mean, this, this agenda being pushed in the name of love, is it really in the name of love? That's the real question. You see, Activision didn't fail. Neither did these people. Did they fail to cancel? Nah. There's the bigger picture here. And the bigger picture, what you guys are not seeing is the fact that this agenda being pushed is perfect and it's well on its way. But to understand this, let me take you back to 1954 to a man named Martin Rothblatt. Rothblatt. Yeah, that's right. See, this dude is a transhumanist. He's also a transgender, meaning a man who became a woman. This guy has been all over Hollywood and well you know he's made a name for himself really 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 big medical everything everything this guy's highly decorated he's even got a robot wife and to top it all off he's actually married to a woman he wrote a book called well i can never pronounce this book's name it's a p a r t h e i d if you could say that name hey more power to you but what it is it's the freedom of gender that's right the freedom of gender well, this dude got with dude, together with this other dude named Williams, Williams, Williams Bainbridge. This guy has a real sexual fetish. He's really, really, really highly decorated as himself. He's graduated from Harvard and his degree was sociology professor. He's written many books, you know, many books on occults, technology, gaming. Wow. How do you like that? Gaming. Also, um, He's psychological mind controlled. Now he's the head of National Science Foundation of Human, the Human Cyber Human Program. What does that mean? What does that mean? Wow. <laughs> this company itself makes $8.3 billion. Now think about that. Gaming. Gaming. Yeah. He studied a lot. This guy is another highly decorated man. Well, this dude and Martin Rothblatt got together with some of their buddies you know that kind of have that same little fetish in the 1980s they created a bill known as the gender bill this bill brings disembodiment into the law but what, what is disembodiment it's a well basically it's a step towards things like transhumanism transhumanism is a scary thing but it's coming our way and you think how is it coming our way all people want to do is just love they love they want to be gender fluid genderless aka many genders well this allows this bill is slowly moving forward that cyberspace where we're all transhumanism but first you got to be sexless sexless in order to get there you got to bring in gender fluid genderless right yeah all right the 1990s now took a big shift from the data information you know the data the data information age you know we went from like 1974 with personal computers and internet Jumped on up to 2012 with the CRISPR. Yeah, that's gene editing. Yeah, if you don't know. 2017, uh, you know, they made AI. Yeah, so another part of this push. Yeah, from the late 90s to the early 2000s, two of the biggest LGBT orgs rose in the U.S. Tim founded the, the Gill Foundation and John Stryker started the Arcus Foundation. These two alone send truckloads of money. And I mean truckloads of money to education, medical, prison, churches, basically everywhere. And it's, you know, when they're, you're like a small organization or um, let's say, I don't know, let's pretend there was a prison that kind of needed money. But when you're a small establishment of whatever kind it may be, I don't, I don't know whether it could be even just, uh, you know, something with the education. If you're a small and you need the funding and stuff like that, these organizations will, you know, fund you in as long as you 
push the LGBT kind of agenda. And that's kind of like where the ideology, I can't even say none of this stuff. If as long as you're adopting this ideology, you know, the gender ideology, you basically can get money. And I know a lot of people would be like, well, how come I don't get no money? These things are all run behind the scenes. It's not well known, but these things are kind of where it starts. at. Now, let me uh, tell you about this guy named Alfred Kinsley. He was born in 1894, died in 1956. He was an American sexologist, it says right here, or a biologist, whatever you want to say, and a biologist, who in 1947 founded the Institute, oops, sorry about that, founded the Institute for Sex Research in Indiana University, known as the Kinsley Institute of Research in Sex, Gender, and Reproduction. This guy right here was has been in magazines such as the New York Times. I mean, he's been in a ton of crap, run of, rat, wrote a ton of books. He's been in Time Magazine. I mean, this man has been hailed a lot. But what you don't know is this. 1950s was Alfred Kinsey. The worst part about him isn't the only thing that he used pedophiles and sexually immoral people as a form for his study. Is that he believed and taught that children from birth have orgasms and pedophilia and incest benefits children. This is one of the reasons why the target is on children today in our schools that you should trust your little child. Whatever they feel shouldn't be taught. You should just trust those feelings and those desires and foster them even if they go against the social norm, against biology, and if they go against the teachings of the scripture. Do you understand that? This man right here, Alfred Kinsey. That's right. All you need to do is just Google. All you need to do is just find out where all this stuff comes from. All you need to do is just be smart. You understand that a lot of this push isn't just because it's love. We're not pushing love. Unfortunately, it's not. It's in the name of love. You could stamp whatever you want with the stamp of love approval. I'm going to tell you what. But it's not love. But you're just frightened. You think that we'll corrupt your kids if our agenda goes unchecked funny just this once you're correct we'll convert your children happens bit by bit quietly and subtly and you will barely notice it you see when they have things like this these things right here get into a kid's mind i mean any kid wants to basically do whatever they want that's what kids want to do. They want to do whatever they want to do. So when you're pushing this kind of agenda, when you're pushing this thing, you know, and you speak against it, you're known as a bigot. Just like Nick Merckx. And you got to understand, none of this stuff happens overnight. None of it. All this stuff begun a long time ago. But they just like to slap the word love all over everything. And like I said, you could literally slap the, the word love on Hitler's forehead and didn't make it right. None of this stuff is right. None of this stuff is, is okay in the name of love, especially when it has an agenda to be pushed behind it. But people are inclined to believe whatever they want to believe. And a lot of these people believe, well, it ain't hurting nobody. None of that part's part of us. None of it is. So you dig deeper. You figure out where it comes from and the people behind it, what were their intentions and what are the intentions are right now. Because you might think it's just about money. And of course, it is. Money rules over, Money rules a lot. And for the love of money is the root of, root of all evil. But when you dig deeper, come to find out there's something just dark and twisted about all this. To each their own, man. To each their own. All I'm doing is shedding a little light on this stuff. I know a lot of these people wouldn't do all their research on their own, so that's what I did. I took my time making this video. And if you like this video, hit the like, hit the subscribe, 
I do want to make more of this stuff in the future, but I know it does take a lot of time. It really does. But I do appreciate everybody that stuck around to the end and wanted to hear all this stuff that, well, a lot of people wouldn't be related to talk about. Pastors and all them people want to talk about this stuff, but no, no ordinary gamers, not people like me. So I just wanted to shed a little light on this stuff. Hey, if you enjoy, I do appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. You guys have a great day. Understand, hey, it's up to you to make a difference. It really is.